everybody. Um, I wanted to hop on real quick and do our evening meditation. Um, as I mentioned yesterday and maybe even the day before, um, during this time of difficulty and this time of change and this time of uncertainty, I think it's um, more important than ever to really focus on our frame of mind and our mental health and our overall well-being. And one of the best things we can do at the end of the day is to calm our mind and calm our body and give ourselves time and space to relax and breathe. So um, yesterday's um, meditation, um, that went really well. It was nice and calming. Um, so tonight our meditation is uh, about resiliency. And um, you know, yesterday's meditation was about control. And we talked about how um, how we felt that you know it might seem odd during this time um, of chaos to say that I am in control, but ultimately what we realized is that there are definitely things that are within our control. So building on from that, um, we are in control, and not only are we in control, but we are also resilient. So that's going to be our focus tonight. So go ahead if you can. Um, let's just find a comfortable seated position. Um, you can always check back in later if it's not a good time, if you're still dealing with bedtime or anything like that. But let's go ahead and just find a comfortable seated position, whatever feels good for us. Let's go ahead and close our eyes. Let's go ahead and first just call to mind a sense of gratitude that we have this community and our sisterhood of support. Let's just call to mind gratitude for friends and family who've been checking in on us and keeping us feeling connected especially as we have to distance ourselves and cancel plans. It's nice to just know that we have people that we can rely on to check in and just keep us feeling connected and keep us feeling that we have a sense of community. Let the sense of gratitude wash over you, covering the body in a feeling of warmth, a feeling of comfort, and a feeling of peace. Go ahead and take a moment to just recycle through your thoughts, everything that happened today. What did you feel? How did you feel? How did you react? Ask yourself these questions and receive the answers without judgment. Take a moment to just accept the events of today to honor your decisions, to honor your actions, to just know that we are all in this together. And then let's go ahead and turn our focus to our breath. Again, in our last few videos, we talked about how our breath often falls shallow, it seems to get stuck in the chest or in the throat. Let's see if we can get a deeper chest, belly, diaphragm. Big inhales, filling the body with life and energy. And slow exhales, relaxing the mind and body. Letting any tension erase, leaving the body with the breath. Take a moment to just find comfort in the rhythm of the breath. Inhale. Exhale. And let's just remind ourselves that anytime we feel overwhelmed, the breath is there to remind us that there is always a rhythm and we can always find our way back to it. And once we've had our few moments to just come into a calm frame of mind, relax the body, settle the soul, you can either open the eyes or keep them closed as we move on to our topic of resiliency. So maybe we'll take our hands to our heart. Maybe we'll just bring our hands um, into prayer position. Maybe we'll bring them to the lap. And as we do, let's just say to ourselves, I am resilient. And let's just say that again. I am resilient. Now, if we think about this term, resiliency. Let us think of all the times in our life that we've suffered. 
all the times in our life that we've experienced hardship. And let us acknowledge the fact that we have always come through every hard day. Every hard day we've ever experienced is behind us now. And that's a pretty good track record to be able to say that every struggle we've endured, we've come out on the other side. And we will continue to do so because we are resilient. And what is resiliency but the capacity to recover from difficulty and the ability to push on with strength and determination. Many of us are mothers and many of us are caregivers and many of us are survivors in one way or another. We are no stranger to hardship. We are no stranger to struggle and we are no stranger to continuing to go on even when we feel like we have nothing left to give. What we are strangers to is giving up, calling it quits, and giving in. And we've never done that before, and we're not going to start doing that now because we are resilient. And resilience is not about being brave. We're allowed to feel fear. And resilience is not about being unbreakable. We're allowed to have those low moments. Um, resilience is about facing those feelings of fear and accepting ourselves as human in those moments of weakness, but continuing to push on, continuing to find the courage and continuing to, um, take solace in the fact that we know our own strength. So let us continue together to acknowledge the fact that we are in control. And let us continue together to acknowledge the fact that we are resilient and we will all pull through this together. Taking our hands to the heart if they're not already or maybe folding over the chest. Let's just find our heartbeat. Once again, feel that rhythm of the breath. Feel your purpose. Acknowledge your strength. And let us say one more time together, I am resilient. Thank you all and have a great night.